Good morning. Welcome to the Carla Marie and Anthony Show. My name is Anthony. I'm Carla Marie. I almost said my name is Carla Marie again. <laughs> why? Do I don't know why. Um, there's a lot we're going to talk about today. Okay. And I know we have the the money shot on. So obviously, if we knock out a hype train, which is the goal every day. Yep. You've got a new drink today, Carla. I do Marie. have a new drink. Should what I is the new drink? Yeah. Peach tea. Oh, that's cool. So this on the 13th, what to say, the 11th? On the 13th is National Peach Cobbler Day. Okay. So in honor of that, we are having peach tea shooters this week. And I, I got my peaches out in Georgia. Da, da, and da. Uh, the recipe after we take the shooter, we will drop it in the chat. So there's also going to be a surprise today that we're all going to try together. Maybe even our special guest might try it. I don't know about this. So if we get through the hype train, I posted something on Twitter no, nope, on Friday nope, night nope. or Saturday night. Not doing just it. Just listen, just listen. Before you, before you get all jumpy here, <sighs> jumpy Marie. It's low for everybody. The volume is low. Okay, hold on. How about now? Oh God, oh. that should be higher. Wow, I'm um, hearing I'm buzzing. Can you lower my headphones? What about now? Okay. Okay. <clears throat> so. I posted something on Tuesday, all right? Tuesday? Is that I'm one? sorry, on Saturday. I don't know why I said Tuesday. <laughs> and the question was, has anyone tried cottage cheese and salsa mixed together? Dan, the nerd of the cool table just dropped five gifted subs. Thank Dude. you very much, Vega. I'm going to see him on Friday, and I'm very excited. So the question was, has anyone tried cottage cheese yep. and salsa Together, I already see Ricky in the chat saying barf. A lot of people had a very negative reaction to that tweet. It's, and those I textures also, don't really like align for well, me. Well, I also wasn't thrilled about the combination. Let me be very honest. But as I'm trying to follow this workout plan and, and uh, matching workout right. uh, diet, mm -hmm. one of the things it calls for is an evening snack of one cup of cottage cheese and two teaspoons, tablespoons of salsa, all mixed together. So why do you have to mix it? Can't you just eat them separately? Well, I could, but I think it's supposed to give the salsa a little bit of flavor, or salt, the cottage cheese a little bit of flavor. So do you know what each of those ingredients is doing for you? Nope. Because, like, not ingredients, like foods. No. Because if, like, one is giving you fiber or whatever, like, well, why can't you oh. just have anything else? Well, I'm sure I can make substitutions. I'm absolutely sure I can. But like I was telling Sam yesterday, I think part of it, like I could have probably replaced sardines last week with tuna, mm. right? But part of it for me is the challenge of doing the all the workouts and the meal plans together. Okay. And knowing that I can do it. Okay, so question is, do you just eat it with a spoon? Yeah. Just, no. just like on. a like a nice stew. No, I'll throw I can't. So I think we're actually very close to hitting hype trend level five. If we do it, Carla Marie will make the drinks. All right. And then no. once we're done with a shot, I will go whip up some Stop it. salsa cottage cheese and we'll all try it. Because I have to have it at some point today. So I'll give you a little spoonful of it. And we can all try. And, but Heather on Long Island, thank you, you very much for the five five hundred bits. You have to have it at some point today, but isn't your nighttime snack, so you're going to mix it in the morning and let it sit all day? No, no, no. I'm, I'm just going to, I'll replace the time. It's fine. I will replace it with my midday snack, which is this week <laughs> just a protein shake. The That's nerd it. at the cool table said stew was the trigger word for Yeah, I, I thought it would be for a lot of people. A nice cold cottage you have cheese to heat it up? stew. You, have, you no, should no, heat no. it up. No, no, see no. That. So, all right, well, if I do see you, well, I am going to see you on Friday. Vega, I'll bring a little to-go container. No. A little plastic container. To the of club? Some, yeah, to the clubs. So got a cheese and salsa. And what if I just, how disappointing would it be if you were an amazing DJ, like DJ Vega, and you had a friend show up to the club, hanging out by the DJ booth, just eating a container of cottage cheese and salsa, like a big dummy. Well, level five's complete. Dave C., thank you very much for the thousand bits. Appreciate that very much. Should we unleash our guest as well? Is she ready? Yes. Oh, then yeah, absolutely. Sam! Well, that was, that ruined it. You said Sam before. <laughs> I said I was talking to Sam yesterday. I didn't say she was the guest. 
Well, I really said it on the podcast. Well, our first guest was our squishy mala. Come on in. We're going to take a shot. There she is. She's That's acting. What for. <laughs> okay. Uh, what's happening? So what's going to happen is I'm going to sit in the center here. Why? Actually, no. I'm sorry. Sam is going to sit in the center. <laughs> She's going to grab the microphone that's in the middle. You're going to have to slide over the... Oh, oh, I get my own chair. Yes. <laughs> what did you think was going to... Carla Marie is going to have to slide over as I well. Oh, I... And we're all going to try to fit. There we go. A little bit more. There we go. Oh, look at that. We actually have perfect space. Looks like you got to stay here forever now. This sounds more oh, like a problem on. for you. Do you, want a would be us. Do you want a pillow? My hemorrhoids are okay right now. <laughs> okay. Thank you, though. Here you go, Sam. You can have these. Oh, appreciate it. Last time we had Sam on, we lost internet. Everything froze, and she had the worst face ever. We were at the Roosevelt's office. Well, the face is mine always. Yeah, but yeah, that's, <laughs> just, that's just what it is. She does look so tiny because she's not on a pillow. And, and she's, she's a little further back, too. This is me to scale of <laughs> my two friends. <laughs> All right. Let's see. Check, check. Jersey Quinn, we used to have a bench. Oh, hello. What's happening here? Tones? What? What did you do to the volume? Are you not hearing yourself? You cranked me to the fullest extent. Oh, okay. Okay. If I don't get full blast Carla Marie, I don't want her at Ugh. all. We had a bench, and it didn't work out because Anthony and I are different, like, sizes. Lengths. <laughs> it's bad news. It also made getting out of our seats a little difficult, but the shot, Carla Marie. So, Sam, today, since we got through Hype Train Level 5 and uh, the... What? I left the measuring cup downstairs. I'll go get it. Great start. Yeah. I forgot where I put it. It has a new home, I think. Is it in the drawer? I'm, I'm sitting right here. I have no idea. <laughs> All right, go get it. <laughs> Shout upstairs when you realize. Uh, love Sam's podcast with William. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Maz. So Sam has a podcast with her fiance, William, called the BAM Wedding Podcast. Yeah, and what's ironic is I've been doing this for a super long time. I've podcasted, been on the radio. Everyone prefers him. Mm -hmm. that's fine i call it beginner's luck yeah william is uh <laughs> very entertaining so if you've if ever planned a wedding you will 100 percent relate to this podcast if you're planning a wedding you will need this in your life and if you have a weird partner i think like everyone thinks i'm weird and then they meet william and then they're like oh he's stranger oh yeah i look so tiny don't sit forward i'm gonna sit on my foot hold on um we should explain why you're here Oh, yeah. You should explain why I'm here, actually. <laughs> so we'll get more into the background of the story uh, later when Anthony's back. But yesterday I was doing a photo shoot with um, our friend Andrea Michelle, who is in the chat pretty often. And I'm doing a shoot and Anthony's like, oh, I'm going to stop by. And I'm like, well, that's weird, but OK. So he comes to the shoot and he's standing there and I'm doing photos. And I like hear someone yelling my name and this woman's walking up to me with a basket. I'm like, what is happening right now? <laughs> and it was Sam. I couldn't tell who it was from far away. Which is weird because you looked dead at me. So her hair was like, your hair is blown out. I'm just so used to your hair being super curly. Mm -hmm. uh, Renee, I'm not going to get more light. There's no way. It was my disguise. Oh. It's not going to happen at this moment. <laughs> but, so I see Sam. And I, so Sam was supposed to come out here for my birthday as a surprise as well. But mm -hmm. afterward, but death in the family yes. couldn't come. So. I, then she told me she got her flight refunded because I was like, Sam, I keep thinking you're going to randomly surprise me. She's like, no, I actually got the full flight refunded, not a credit. And I was like, okay. And I knew I was going to be in Jersey this week. So I assumed that if Sam was going to ask me to be a bridesmaid in her wedding, it was going to happen when I saw her this week because she kept asking me when we were going to see each other in Jersey. And I'm like, okay, I'll make time. So, Literally would tell my family, I can't, I got to see Sam. I think she's going to ask me to be a bridesmaid. Which is still true. You still have to see me those dates we planned out. And I feel like this was emotionally a great call, but what? financially like one of the dumbest calls I've ever made. Yeah, because I'm going to be, we're flying back to Jersey together on Wednesday. Yeah, and if no one's heard, gas isn't cheap right now. No. <laughs> so that was real reflected in the plane. So, I mean, it is only fair. I guess I do have to fly to your wedding. No, you don't because of the date. Yeah. That's true. You're going to be there anyway. I know. So I'm just right. living my life for you so guys. So Sam proposed to me, asked me to be her bridesmaid, and I said yes. Mm -hmm. And then we did an impromptu photo shoot. So we'll have those photos to share in a little bit. All right. Not let's mix up the shot. Hey, oh, you're so aggressive today. I want to I wanna move it along here. We so got you found to talk the cup. About. Sam brings out the worst of me as well. The aggression comes out with Sam. Why are your hands moist? <laughs> I showered like 30 seconds before <laughs> you guys called me in here. <laughs> I don't think I needed this. Oh, that's fun. 
This is how you mix, by the way. Why don't you read out loud at least, Carla Marie? Oh, okay. <laughs> I didn't realize it was like pre-mixed. But I did need this to know how much. Okay. So, in this drink is whiskey and peach schnapps. And that's it. Okay, that's easy. Uh, so, I have to fill the cocktail shaker halfway with ice, which I did. Add three ounces of the mix. Oh, I smell whiskey. But I'm going to add... That's two... Oh, wait, if there's three of us, that's supposed to make two. So I should do four and a half ounces. Sure. Guys, I can. Do you have the shot glasses? Yep. Okay. Come on. How would I Did you know we have custom show shot glasses? I hope those are the ones we're using. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> no. <laughs> they suck. Carla Marie left them downstairs. <laughs> Sam, do you know anything about shaking a cocktail? I want to say I could figure it out, but maybe I can't. Who knows? Right, you gotta go. You gotta be real vigorous. Twenty about seconds. It. Oh yeah, it's a workout. It's like some shake weight stuff. Anthony, everyone said I need more light. Oh, because you're moved over that way. Uh... But it's that light for me, right? It's kind of hot. I think that was 20 seconds. So the reason we are drinking this peach drink, this peach tea drink, Ooh. is because the 13th is Peach Cobbler Day. Look at that Ooh. mixture. Can we have a cobbler instead? No. Damn that's it. not how we do here. <laughs> All right, fine. We do shots and cottage cheese with salsa. No, next time when it fills up, just have it. You have to eat an entire cobbler. Okay. Like, I'd I'm, love to watch that. Like I'm going to drop human? the link now. <laughs> like a shoe cobbler? Yeah, eat a whole cobbler. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Is there any other cobblers than a peach cobbler to eat? I think a cobbler is a kind, not a fruit. I know, so I, you could make any kind. You could make a blueberry cobbler, I strawberry I cobbler. Blueberry cobbler. I don't think I've ever actually had peach cobbler, but let's have the shot. Okay, I just dropped the link in there. That'll take you to all the cocktails that we do at Seattle Cocktail Club. All right. So we cheers to the camera, Sam. First thing I'm putting in my body, let's do this. Cheers, cheers to you. each other. And then we, wait, I, cheers to the bartender. Okay. Which is Sam, do to do that. Mmm. Welcome to the show, Sam. <laughs> That's very good. Mm -hmm. That's tasty. It definitely has the kick of whiskey, so you do taste whiskey, but mm -hmm. it, it's very good. <laughs> wow, though. That was actually, I could take shots of whiskey if we did. No. No. We need our stomachs. Please. Let me explain. No. Oh, no. <laughs> Let me explain. Can what we do the regular here. screen? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. What I can't see that far. Wow, I have problems. Something about reading the word chunky right now really just didn't sit great with me. Okay, Wait, so can on we the list, take a minute here? Yeah, we'll have to, I still have to mix up the ingredients. So, on the list, we obviously hit Hype Train uh, day 10, 10 in a row, so thank you very much for that. Do we have the fake proposal yet? Did we talk about that? Did you guys talk about that while I was gone? We talked about the real proposal. The fake proposal is on the way. Um, sauna chat. We're going to talk about that because oh, this I haven't told any. No, no. I, I, told, I know you haven't told anyone, but I just assume you're naked talking to old men in the song. Yeah, but it's, it's even worse. It's, <laughs> it's, it's worse? I'm Wait telling, a minute. Listen to me. What I am going to tell you from the sauna is worse <laughs> than you are currently imagining, unless you're imagining some sort of like orgy. weird orgy. That didn't happen. I still have to feel like as a friend, I need to ask you a question. Are you okay? Uh, yes, I am okay, physically okay. and mentally. Good. Is the other person not okay? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll, hmm. we'll talk about it. Then, um, another situation that happened literally less than 24 hours before that at the gym, uh, should I have done something? And this is up to everybody. And I'm going to explain. Some people are going to get legit mad at me. I'm ready. Okay. That's usually me. But before we do any of that, this is part of my no. diet for week three. Sam We've can't got eat cheese. She's vegan. Low She's fat, not vegan. Don't spread fat the lies. Low-fat cottage cheese. And I want everyone to know that I went small curd. <laughs> so, I can't eat cheese. I'm so they're little baby curds. Then I got, uh, what salsa is this? Mission Chunky Salsa. Oh, you should have so got small the, curds, chunky salsa. Should have got the bad salsa we had for my birthday. Um, I'm going to have to do a cup of low-fat cheese and two tablespoons. A cup? A whole cup, yeah. A cup. That's what, yes, Carla Marie. So now I've got spoons for everyone. I'm going to hand out some spoons here. Why do we have two bowls? Well, because I need a, a bowl for the the things that I'm going to be mixing with so they don't get on the carpet or anything. Oh. I'm upset. Right? Makes sense. Sam, your Thank spoon? You. 
All right, now this is where it's going to get interesting because it doesn't look good. Cottage cheese. Here we go. Here's some Ricky. Cottage cheese. Going to get a cup of that. No, that's not how I would do that. Would you pour it? Everything is wrong. That's also not correct. Why am I eating? Make sure you top it off real nice. No one sees what's happening. Okay. This is actually disgusting. Mm-mm. Cottage cheese is like stupid. So many women went through the cottage cheese phase. I know. It's my phase now. A little more. I feel like I had off. cottage cheese and cantaloupe and watermelon. Because mm, I'm going to wait four pounds. Mm. Okay, so we got I'm a full cheese. cup a full cup of cottage cheese here. Ooh. Julie said, is Sam having second thoughts about coming on the show today? Just, Sam's been having second thoughts as soon as she All landed, right, frankly. So got, <laughs> These two. To scrape out. I, want, I don't want to miss any of the cottage cheese chunkiness. Don't miss a chunk. Yeah, I gotta uh, get that's its like slogan, it. this brand's cottage cheese. Never miss a chunk. I've got to get curd. all the, the curds. I don't like that sound. Okay. Wait, so. so you as one human are supposed to eat a cup yeah. of cottage cheese, and how much of this? Just two tablespoons. Okay, so I can put the cottage cheese away now. Now, it's... Anthony's making a reel about all of this, right? I had one for week three. I'm not, I haven't filmed week four. Oh, no. I had week two. I have not filmed week three yet. This is week three. Radio fam, don't make me judge you like that. What did she say? I love cottage cheese, actually, especially as a side with a buffalo chicken wrap. Mm-mm. I don't know what, I don't, okay, where now, am I? Two, <laughs> two tablespoons of salsa. Okay. Like yeah, what? fruit, I, I can like mentally we have prep. A two tablespoon well, tomatoes are fruit. That okay, but we agree they're different, very different kinds of fruits. Kelsey said, "Just the name of cottage cheese is bad." It's true. Like, what, I agree. What does that even mean? No, keep in mind, it's, I don't think that I ever had cottage cheese in my life until Friday. Our fag, good. I Thank really you. don't recall a moment in my life where I had cottage cheese before this weekend. This is what this went. Anthony's like, I got to have my cottage cheese snack, and I'm like, okay, whatever. So I'm upstairs getting ready for bed, and I hear Whoa, from I, downstairs, I, I, I hear, oh. huh. Mm. Just noises. And I'm going, what is he doing? You're Welcome such a cooking. fatherless child. Yes. <laughs> like, like, and I go, what are you father. doing? Childless, Childless father. father. Thanks for the correction. I do have a father. <laughs> he would be very upset to hear now that. Now is actually a good time to tell you something. <laughs> he's he's putting a lot of work to making sure that I had a roof over my head. All right, and, so this is the mixture. Okay. I'm upset by the color no, no alone. No one sees I'm upset by the color. I don't want to spill gross cottage cheese on it's the more table. pink in than it is in the image yeah the light makes it look way more white there is a poll up in the chat you are more than welcome to vote on your thoughts of cottage cheese and salsa all right who wants to go first it looks like actual vomit looks- one time i threw up penne vodka and that's what it looked like <laughs> well who wants to try who wants to try it first <laughs> i'll go first so i can run fast all right and my eyes it. are tearing i'm upset well that's oh that's not you need a spoonful come on I don't take big bites I have three spoons. We're good. Nope. Go ahead. You make <laughs> no, me my spoon. I'm not doing oh, this. Okay. If you do, if you don't do this for me, I don't do this okay, at all. Well, let, let Carla Marie go first. I don't think I can do it. Wait, hold on. Let me. You're not gonna throw up. That's just good preparation, you though. Know, Better safe. My, I in the morning, I have a terrible gag reflex. Okay. I was brushing my teeth the other day, and Anthony was in the bathroom. <laughs> I feel like he's never in the bathroom when I brush my teeth, and no. I gagged, and he was like. What are you doing? Oh, because, I mean, I don't want to be too graphic, but I've never seen someone deep throat a toothbrush <laughs> like that. It's like you were trying to kill yourself. It's honestly like you were trying to kill yourself. <laughs> I thought you were trying to puncture There's the back of your that throat. That person that brushes their teeth and they mentally prep themselves and you just see. Yeah. <laughs> I did throw up. You didn't, come on. Oh, I it's right it. there. It's so good. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, you didn't even know. Bitch, do on. it. Let's go. That's, don't That's Carla Marie. Hey, hey, hey. I'm going to hold your nose and Anthony's going to open your mouth. Well. Nope. <laughs> okay. Not, it's not terrible. Chew. If you early for it. Put in an effort of sorts. <laughs> You've got to swallow it. <laughs> okay, give me this. How are the curds? Thing. That's a problem. Is the chunky part better? Gotta get down because it's not. It's not gonna go well. Okay. <laughs> it's not that bad. It's the texture. I'm not here for this. It tastes like wet pebbles. <laughs> <laughs> like right out of a fish tank. Mmm. I smell or a new orange, cereal. The orange kind or the blue kind? What pebbles are we talking about? When what? was the last time the tank was cleaned? No. no give me another shot. <laughs> Take it. Take just what's st- left. Another round. Ah! Turn down for what? I don't know why I was oh, look, screwing I with her. Look, I wipe my mouth and look at my hand. I have a curd. 
Okay. <laughs> like she's, so I have a curd. I love that occurred. Carla Marie is chasing down. God, this day's going to suck. Cottage cheese with whiskey. <laughs> All right, Sam. Oh, screw it. Wait, no one's getting the full effect. Let me hold it here so everyone else can see Just it please don't get anything on my outfit. I really like this outfit, but if I look at it, I'm going to be upset. So All just. Right. Fred the mailman Come said, on. who is Sam? not watching. Fred, don't screw with me, brother. He said, this Open show. Up for the airplane, Sam. No, that's too much for her. Ah! Did she use my spoon? No, I have, I have three spoons. Yeah, maybe don't chew that. It's- I have a couple things to say. Hold okay, on. let's let's hear them. <laughs> Fred said this show was so much different when you're just listening to the audio. <laughs> I'm going to say something I'm not proud of. Okay. It's not as bad as I Thank thought it was going to be. <laughs> it's, let, let me explain, though. Let me but explain. it is wet aquarium yes. rocks. Yes. Okay. So <laughs> you, you nailed it. Here's the interesting thing. This is why when I had it on uh, Saturday night. I would I like made, it with Tostitos. What? Where's my spoon? Oh, you want more? I'll have another one. <laughs> well, I don't do waste, so this is not going oh, in the trash. The He's going to eat that. Oh, well, then you're fine. Well, just one more. Wow, Sam's going for a second. Hold on. Now that the mentalness is over, I have to, like, appropriately okay. try it, okay? Why do you hit your teeth on the spoon so much when you bite You're them? a violent eater. Yeah, that's the problem happening right now. <laughs> Yeah, it's not as bad as I thought it was going to be. Is it my snack of choice? I don't know. But if I were you, I think I could go through with it. But here's the thing. This is why when Carla Marie says she heard me go, huh, this isn't bad, or whatever I said on Saturday night when I had the uh, the first taste, I was expecting way worse. Mm-hmm. And it's in a weird way. Tell me if you agree. It's like oddly refreshing. <laughs> Yeah, have you ever had cottage like cheese with watermelon? Cheap no. summer salad. I'm, I'm telling you, I think Saturday was the first time I've ever had cottage yeah, cheese why in my it? life. I think I could do it with a Tostito. It's the spoon part for me. Like, I would never spoon salsa. You know how spoons salsa. gross Carla Marie out all the time? No, like, I would never spoon salsa. Mm. It's not bad. It's not, it's not the best. It's not bad, though. But I can do, I can deal with this for a week. This to people. Put what? it down on the floor. I got it. I, this is... You're not eating that. I'm in, I'm in training mode. You need to put your headphones on so you know what you sound like. That's true, though. Because you're chomping. I got to tell you, a burp with a little bit of cottage cheese and a little bit of whiskey, not the best. All right, let's see if this That works. wasn't great. That's why I said today's going to suck. <clears throat> yeah, Sam eating that in the microphone was something. Yeah, sorry about that. Uh, Renee said, my husband complains when I bite the utensils when they eat. I don't do that. Either, right? I'm just getting a left ear. Oh, I, feel, I sound uh, great. Anthony. Yes. You don't, yeah, neither of us bite utensils. Sam did, and that threw me for a loop. I don't bite utensils. You no, did. You just it, it might, like, hit tooth. my tooth, but I don't bite it. And you know what? Gandhi from, you know, the morning show, Elvis Duran Show, makes yeah, fun of true. me because I put, when I drink a water bottle, apparently, I learned this from her, I don't, like, sip the bottom. I, like, <laughs> I put my lips over the whole circle. You drink water like Carla Marie brushes her teeth. So then she hears the teeth chipping of the metal and she thinks it's fucking hilarious. All right, so we got to get into the list now. We've had our shot. We've had our cottage cheese. I will continue to finish this. When I bit the cottage cheese, I laughed and snot came out of my mouth and it was really... Snot came out of her mouth. Anthony. I know. Full effect. So we drank our shots. Carla Marie had a, another shot to chase down her cottage cheese and salsa which she did not like. Um, we had the cottage cheese and salsa. Now, on the list is the fake proposal. Oh, we're going to do this now? So, Carla this Marie. It's embarrassing. It actually. is embarrassing <laughs> for you. <laughs> not for I me. don't think it's great for anyone. I'm going to point is, that out real quick. So, never in my life has this ever happened to me. I was, I can't believe I'm saying this, 99% sure that Anthony was proposing yesterday. I'm going to let that sit with everybody. Can I could put a that didn't happen quick preface? Yeah. My nickname for Anthony is 00 negative seven because I think a lot of the times he's not very stealth. Over the years, you've gotten yeah. better. Yeah. But Carla Marie is if 007 had like paranoia and poor prescribed medication. Yeah. Like you could sneeze funny and she'll be like, what secrets are you keeping yeah. from me? So, so the two of them are opposites. So I, several times over, I was about a 12 day period, almost told so many people in my life, but I was like, no, I'm keeping this in because if it does happen, I want the enjoyment of at least surprising people that it happened, right? This is where my head went. So let's go back. Okay. 
Wait, Ricky said I had people to tell me they thought Anthony was proposing? Wow, you apparently were so weird to other humans that don't know you personally. Wait, Ricky, we need confirmation on that. Maybe we'll have you call to explain that. But okay. So approximately 12-ish days ago, I tell Anthony I'm doing a shoot on Sunday with Andrea. Now, Andrea does all of our photos. She's the one that texted me and said, hey, I've been wanting to do a shoot at the UW Cherry Blossoms. Are you available April 10th? And I say, yes. So this wasn't me asking to do the shoot. So I tell Anthony, and this is now almost two weeks before the shoot. And I was like, we're going to do it early in the morning. He's like, what time? And I say, I think it was like 8 a.m. He's like, okay, but are you going to drive? Are you going to leave me the car? Can she pick you up? So immediately I'm like, the fact that he, of all people, is planning this far out, if he's going to have the car when he sleeps till 11 a.m. on the weekends, I'm confused. Let me explain something before Carla Marie continues the story. Yeah, okay. Because she kept doing this yesterday. <laughs> Carla Marie, for whatever reason, when she tries to imitate me, she adds way more panic in my voice than initially was there. The, this house could be on fire right now, and you'd be like, you guys, like, I, guys I think we, we should leave. Go. There's, there's a fire. So yeah. I'll try to be calm. He said, Thank you. no, you were a little snippy. Like, am I going to have the car? I was like, uh, I'll see if she can drive me. I don't know. So that was, uh, there was something before that that kind of triggered me in that. And I was like, oh my God, it's actually happening. I don't know what to do. I want to be surprised. I was like mad because I want to be surprised. I'm never surprised until yesterday when Sam showed up. Never surprised. This is my fourth attempt, by the way, and the only successful one. It's true. To surprise you. So then he was, he was just so inquisitive in different ways about the shoot. Like, when I said, I said something like, oh, someone's coming to do my makeup at seven. I got to be ready by eight. He was like, eight? I thought you were shooting at 930 or something. And I was like, well, I never said that. I'm just someone who cares about your schedule, you know? Never cares about my schedule. I tell him where I am at all times. And then he asks me questions about where I am. And I'm like, I told you where I am. Yeah, that's so true. that's why I was like, what is happening? So then the literal next day I get a text from Andrea that's like, hey, can we move the shoot back to 930? Which turns out that was completely coincidental. She's like, I have a concert the night before. Let's move it to 930. Not when you're Carla Marie, though. Yeah. So now I'm like, in my, I'm like, oh, my God, this is actually happening. Then, like, he was not He was about to get a haircut and then didn't. So I was like, all right, the haircut is going to be my trigger. If his hair isn't cut by Sunday, I know it's not happening. But then I was like, maybe he's trying to trick me and get a haircut while I'm getting the shoe. And then he's <laughs> okay. So now I'm like, well, why would he, how would he have a ring? I'm like, oh, well, his mom visited. And then also my my breakfast, my birthday jewelry was shipped. Maybe it was shipped with my birthday jewelry. If you think you were getting jewelry twice in a month's span, <laughs> <laughs> you're Bougie. wildly, Maybe that, wildly trying to throw incorrect. me up. There was something else that um, before yesterday that, I was so confused about. She's the Charlie Day meme. Like there's oh. string and papers behind her. Then I was like, oh, maybe my family's coming to surprise me. Cause I was like, the cleaning lady wants to know if we need her to come this week. And I was like, I don't think we do. He's like, you should, yeah, she should come. You could have her come. And I was like, that's weird. Like since when do you like, okay. All right, we'll get her to come clean. I'm like, my family's coming. This I always like when the cleaning person's here. Then yesterday morning. Good day. Yeah. We're doing the shoot. And I'm like, well, he kept asking me, where, oh, the day before. He's like, where are you going to be? I'm like, oh, the Ballard Farmer's Market probably. He's like, oh, maybe I'll come by. And I was like, why? And he's like, I don't know, I can eat something. I was like, okay. I love the Ballard Farmer's Market. So then we leave the Farmer's Market. I'm like, let me text him. I'm like, hey, we're going to South Lake Union. That's all I say. <clears throat> then he calls me, and we're at South Lake Union. Then he immediately hangs up. And I'm like, what is happening? And then he calls Andrea, and I'm like, this is weird. And he's like, hey, where are you guys? I'm not up to anything. And I'm like, oh my God. Thank you. I'm with you, man. And she tells him where we are. And then I'm like, oh my my God. And then I'm so mad because I had two dresses and I changed it to jeans. And I'm like, he's going to propose to me when I'm wearing jeans, but I am wearing a white t-shirt. Maybe that's why this is happening. Can I tell you how horrifying it would be putting myself in anyone else? Like I could never propose to, do you know how scary you are to propose to right now? (laughs) That's why it's never going to (laughs) happen. Oh my <laughs> God. That's fine. I'll just live my life always thinking it's going to happen. That's okay. I would have said yes, but I'm in jeans. So <laughs> piss off. So, I see him from afar and I'm, I see him in his workout shorts, a Eula Grape beanie and a hoodie. And I'm like, okay, it's clearly not happening. But what the hell is this man doing? He was like, hey guys, what's up? Hands in his pocket. And I'm like, why are you here? I wish every, like, I really, this pacing is where, back and forth, telling me he wasn't being weird, but he's like, 
pacing back and forth. He's like, why am I holding this? I don't know why I'm holding And puts down my shirt. He's like, why am I holding this shirt? Wait. Like Roosevelt's shirt. Because oh, no, I was holding your shirt he's for like, a while. And I was like, wait, why am I still like, holding like, this? That just sounds about? like something I hear Anthony say a lot. Yeah. So now I'm nervous about it. And I'm like, what is happening? And then all of a sudden I like see this girl from afar walking with the basket. And I'm like, oh my God, is there going to be a picnic proposal? <laughs> Literally. So you thought I was part of the proposal, but as the hired help, and not as I Sam. Hear her say my name. And I look and I'm like, as soon as I saw it was Sam and I was the bridesmaid basket that she'd been proposing to everyone with, everything went, all the gears went, oh, and they clicked into place. And I was like, so I knew something was off. I didn't know what it this was. This is Carla. Okay, let me explain so what's I, happening. And then, so Sam shows up and nope. I was like, I knew something was off. He's like, you did not. I go, I did. I thought you were proposing and I knew you weren't going to believe me. So I emailed myself last week. See, and here's one fun <laughs> thing about loving Carla Marie is I was telling Anthony in the car if she has even a whiff of suspicion, she will not allow us to have 25 minutes of joy. No. So, no, she I, will let us know immediately no, I, as she has every other. I know, but you were immediately like, I thought you were going to propose. You were acting weird. Anytime I tried to surprise you, and again, this was the fourth time, <laughs> immediately with, Sam, you're here. I had a feeling. I didn't want to no, say no, anything, no, but I had a feeling. feeling. It was Josh told me you were coming. Well, that was one of the four, one of the three. But, but. Carla Marie had no idea that you no were showing idea. up no idea. for your bridesmaid proposal. Anthony, I was, everybody. I was so. very much surprised about we did, Sam. We did a good job. You you nailed it. We got it. That is probably one of the only times I've been surprised. I was Twice. recording, but we were too far away to hear your end. But I did get one moment of emotional Sam. <laughs> like, <laughs> like the first thing out of your mouth was like the laboring voice and a tiny drop of sadness. And then you immediately reverted to the Carla Marie we all know and love. The fuck are you doing spazzy. here? Ah! I, mean, I would say it all worked out really well. The only time that I think I was purposefully being weird was as Carla Marie's photo shoot was ending. For a while, she was in like the best position possible to be surprised by Sam. Mm-hmm. I also had to text Sam and say, hurry up, because she was taking her slow-ass time walking down the bridge. I'm sorry. I was walking. I didn't know I had to go to brisk You're a jog. Slow, slow walker. But yeah, it was, like it a was ending, time. and I knew I could see Sam in the distance, and I knew that Carla Marie at some point was going to turn around. So I just started standing on things <laughs> and doing anything yeah. I could to get attention. Parkour. So that is the only time. Okay. Everything else, I wish there were cameras around and things like that. I wish we had like a reality show. I didn't see that text until just now. Yeah, hurry up. Hurry up. Slow ass <laughs> Sam. Oops. So I'm like now standing on benches. I'm like pointing out things. I'm like, oh, we should take that line bike over there. See the one well, over there behind me? <laughs> you jingle keys, jingle keys. Yeah. You, and it was also That's when I got weird because it was like 30 seconds to launch and, I, and things were just, they were very close to going wrong. And what was also kind of bizarre is Andre and I were taking photos. So there's an ice cream boat that goes on in South Lake Union every Sunday. We should have hopped on. Yeah, it's every a shame you didn't take me. On the hour for, for like, I don't know, eight hours. There's an ice cream boat. And they had balloons. So we were taking pictures in front of the boat. And the guy who owns the boat was walking by. He's like, hey, if you want to go on the boat, you can. And I'm like, that's so weird, but all right. Why is that weird? I was like, who would let you take photos on their boat? Someone who wants oh, their boat and photos? Oh, pretty girls taking pictures? Yeah, go on, get on my boat. No, but Guys I with boats let pretty girls on like, all the time. So well, like, clearly I'm being proposed to today. <laughs> no, I, that, you know what's crazy is that was the first time that like I was like, didn't really think, but it was just weird. So we got off the boat and that would have been the perfect time for you to be there because I was hiding on a boat. Well, I wasn't going fast enough apparently, so sorry about that. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> you were not. Try not to talk in the mouthful. Sorry. Oh. You're, you time. did some damage, brother. And then brother. someone said, do... Uh, was I upset that it was Sam and not a proposal? That's, Absolutely not. That's so because rude. I was mad at myself <laughs> that I knew, and I was like, oh, should I should I tell him that I think he's going to propose? And he would have been if I would have said that to you, what would you have done? I would have laughed. I don't know. <laughs> I just would have laughed. And then, oh, at one point I was like, I don't know, I might move my nail appointment back. And you were like, no, you should go. I don't know why you said that, but I was like, oh my God. If anything, this has turned into just a horrifying example of what someone's going to have to go through emotionally. Someone. <laughs> if they're proposing to Carla Marie. Someone. Listen, <laughs> just saying. Like, now you got to be careful of a haircut. You got to be careful of nail appointments. Heaven forbid you need to go to the gym and you got to take the car around the time she thought she Here's was going to have the car. That's the thing. This is all stuff I do normally. Okay. I should have kept the, nope. A note of all the things. I got to tell you something, Harlem Marie. 
as as someone who's never proposed to anyone and does not propose to plan on proposing, mm-hmm. I think you got to chill a little bit, a little yeah. tiny like, bit. There's the fact that it what triggered was Andrea asking me to do a shoot a specific day, and then immediately Anthony saying, "Am I going to have the car?" Two weeks prior was so weird because you know you don't ca- tr- plan your gym yeah. two weeks prior at eight a.m. when you sleep till eleven. The know. earliest on weekends. I'm eating cottage cheese and salsa. I, I do a lot of planning now okay. these days. Not for your butthole. All right, we're moving on, though. So. So, we got the fake proposal out of the way. Now, sauna chat is weird okay. is the next thing on the list. Oh, right. And. Sam, you look like a tiny little bug. I, I am a tiny little bug. did not post about this on social. I did not tell Carla Marie. I did not tell Sam. Thank you, Carla Marie. There. A little high chair for me. Does that help? Your butt or your back? You tell me. You should sit. Okay. <laughs> I am you the same size scoot, as my friends. Um, scoot closer to the table. I don't think I can because your chairs no, are there. With your butt. Like, move uh, your butt closer to the front of the seat. get rid of my back seat. support. Now we're good. There we go. So, so we're using a GoPro for the record, and it's like slightly wide angle, so things get a little distorted, which is why that happens. I look like I'm from the Lollipop Guild. That's yes. fine, though. So, I did not tell anyone this except for my bro chat, and they oh, were okay. shocked, to say the least. Let's hear it. Normally what I've been doing when I get to the gym is because it's a little chilly out in Seattle still. So I will sit in the sauna or stand in the sauna for about three to five minutes before I hit my workout, before I go like right. warm up and do things just to get my body temperature up. And normally I get there and it's one or two guys. No one really talks, but every now and then you get into the sauna and there's a chatty Kathy, which I understand I'm in a public place. I can't really get that upset, but like also have a little self-awareness. No one wants to hear you in a, a very hot, right. calm place. So I get into the sauna on Saturday. And there's a guy, I get in there, and he's talking, he's mid-conversation about vaccines and health things and whatnot. And he's talking about uh, Russell Brand. And he's a big okay. Russell Brand advocate apparently he's like this is why i love russell brand he's just like in the middle he doesn't really talk about it you know blah 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 i I don't even know russell brand exists still oh yeah he's got a like very popular he's alive and well yeah and he starts talking about also how russell brand like found god and now he's like uh he's part of a 12-step program all this stuff and i'm like what am i what is going on here and i don't even know who he's talking to it's almost like he's doing a uh, like it's his sermon he's just whoever's there (laughs) was it sunday no it was saturday so then i noticed he he pivots over and he's engaging with this guy, older guy, bald, but he's got two um, wristbands on. Like like rubber wristbands, oh, you know? Yeah, yeah. Like the Livestrong band. Question, what okay. was the man wearing? Which man? The, the Chatty Cathy? Yeah. Uh, just a towel, but here's here's how Seattle he was. Long hair, couple tattoos that like were scattered, right? Like no rhyme or reason to the uh, casual onlooker. And my favorite part was his towel was held together with his carabiner with oh, his that's, keys. Oh, that's almost cartoon like yeah. Seattle. Stop that's it. fantastic. I swear to God. Stop it. This, this guy was the most Seattle person I've ever seen. Was he wearing Doc Martens and a hemp beanie? No, because okay. it was the sauna. So I was like the only one clothed because I was only going to be there for a couple of minutes. <laughs> Everyone else was in a towel or completely naked. But he, he pivots over to this man, this older gentleman, who's only guy. He's got his towel and his two rubber, rubber wristbands. And he asks him what those wristbands are. He's like, oh, I thought that one was for Ukraine. And in my head, I'm like, I don't know how you got from thinking that was from Ukraine to Russell Brand, but whatever. He goes, no, this one is actually my, uh, my daughter went to the Barbados or whatever, and she brought me back a bracelet. And this one, here's where it gets weird. He goes, this one is for my brother-in-law. And I was like, oh, this is going to get deep in a second. So this one's for my brother-in-law. He's battling brain cancer. Okay, let that sit in. A complete stranger in a sauna just told you his family member, still alive, battling brain cancer. Very serious. Yeah. How would you respond? I'm. Oh my God, I'm so sorry. Okay. Yeah, empathy wow, and well crazy. wishes. That's all you can okay. do. There was, a, there was a hint of empathy at first. And then the man wow. said, oh man, that, well, his first response was, oh man, that's rough. My dog had brain cancer and we had to put him down. Was literally, <laughs> it was, so we're going to role play this for a second. Sam. Yeah. I'm, no. I'm going to tell you. No, mm-hmm. you tell me 
that your brother-in-law has brain cancer. Thank you for giving me this role, first okay. of all. My my brother-in-law is battling brain cancer. Oh, man, that sucks. My dog had brain cancer, and we had to put him down. <laughs> that's strike that's two. That's literally... <laughs> just going to put you That's out. literally... The immediate response from this man. Everyone else, because there were this the sauna surprisingly at this time was kind of crowded. There was like eight people in there, and it's a small box. Yeah, I think the other six people who were not engaged in this conversation just kind of looked around, like, "What is happening?" And then here's how it gets even worse. Carabiner man, what the guy? I can't. Carabiner man, naked carabiner man, decides not only to follow up that he had, and I get it. Your, the guy's dog was probably very near and dear to his heart. But if someone tells you their human relative mm -hmm. has cancer, the follow-up is not immediately my dog. my dog, too. As someone who truly cannot imagine the day after put, not having my dog, yeah. like, I have, an, I have an unhealthy. People right. are obsessed with their dog, and yeah. then I'm over here in Cuckooville. Yeah. I'll cry right now. That's just not Still. what I'd ever say. <laughs> so I feel yeah. like it has to be a panic he had to have had a panic response. Well, he didn't he stop, was, though. He oh, didn't my stop God. Because then he started going into how, while his dog had brain cancer, he started doing some research on some alternative medicines and how there's some guy who has, like, he's figured out a way if you grow a certain type of cannabis um, with no pesticides, it can help brain cancer. Also, he started telling him about turkey tail mushrooms or something. Some sort of magic mushroom that people is also it, is take. it a mushroom or a drug? And this guy is just sitting there going, "Yeah, uh huh." Like the guy who had, whose brother brother in law has brain cancer. Oh at, yeah. At the very least, I hope that man whose brother in law has brain cancer can take that and be like, "I have a story for you," and like <laughs> yeah. make his family laugh and, and tell that, his brother in law. Yeah. And be like, "This is what this man told me." You should, and maybe he will try the mushrooms and be great. It was just such a wild. Five minutes to be a part of. just And, and I, I almost stayed in there way longer, but I was still in all of my clothes. I was like, I can't. Is he Anthony like a full tuxedo because he's proposing later. Yeah. And just like sweating and refuses to leave. But it was just, I, and I was standing next to the door and every, every time he said something awkward, I was like, this is my time to leave. But then I just couldn't let myself go. If someone is ever telling you of like a serious life threatening issue they're dealing with, I don't care what my dog, my human, my, yeah. my whatever, never followed up with the punchline and they died and we yeah. had to put them yeah. down. And that was the craziest part. <laughs> he didn't say, oh, my dog's also going through that. I understand the struggle, Said, which then. is still not the same struggle, no. right? But the fact that he ended with, and then we had to put him down. It's like, oh, Thanks. Man. So he should have just handed him a baseball bat and been like, so this is for your brother-in-law. <laughs> it's all you got to do. Thanks, like, stranger who I just told you information you probably didn't need to know. Thanks for telling me you had to put your dog down with the same <laughs> problem as my brother-in-law. That's so, so wild. Yeah. I am awkward, so I have no, to no, imagine Lenny, he's awkward. Lenny's giving an example saying, oh, I lost my leg in a war. And then no, someone no. responds with, hey, I adopted a three-legged dog. Deep so Palm Beach it. said, my panic response is either to vomit or laugh hysterically. It's horrible. Yeah. Oh, yeah. No, I've laughed a lot at all of my family members' funerals, and it pisses my mom off every time. It's a defense mechanism. It's I all remember, I have. I remember Andrew from Elvis' show saying that, like, when people tell him bad news, <laughs> he, he immediately giggles. laughs or giggles. Like, when people will tell them their, their mom died, and he'll just start <laughs> laughing. He's a giggler. And, and it is a problem that a lot of people have. I would have much <laughs> rather that situation in the sauna. Because then it's a reaction and not yes. like this premeditated decision conversation. Oh it was just, it was a wild, wild day in the sauna at LA Fitness. I'm really sorry for that, dude. Both of them kind of, but for different reasons. And, and I like to say this all the time. You don't necessarily have to compare difficulties, right? Mm -hmm. Like you might have something stressing you out and it's not going to help you if someone says, oh, well, there's people dying and blah, blah, blah. You should feel whatever, blessed. But it, there's also a time in your life where you go, I just don't need to say anything right, right. now. I yeah. just don't need to say that first thing that I thought. And this guy just just like gets completely it. threw all the roadblocks, barreled down the road into this man's brain. But like that, I would love to know what goes on in that man's brain and what his regular interactions are like. Like, think about that. If that was that interaction, I think and you, everyone knows this type of person, right? Everyone knows the type of person who just. Thinks and says. There's no think, pause, say. Mm. It's just think, say. Sometimes say as think. <laughs> or just nothing. <laughs> like, right there. It's just like, <laughs> bam, right out there. 
I think that's what this guy was. He was just, the connection between his brain and his mouth was super short. And yeah. there was no there was no room between that gap for someone to say, no, don't now, do that. <laughs> was anyone else in the sauna people that you regularly see? No, all new uh, people. So I really want You'll you You'll never see like, him again either after that. Yeah. I really want you to be like, what the hell was that about? Yeah, and sometimes there are people I see enough in the gym now where when we do witness something wild, you can like at least make eye contact and be like, that was weird, right? Like, I remember the time that I saw a guy doing sit-ups with his little puppy on his chest. Oh, but I love that guy. I've that guy's him. great. But I remember the first time this guy started coming to the gym, That's he was- also not a puppy. That dog's 17. Well, it was. it's tiny, though. It's very small. But he was on, like, so one of those big inflatable, uh, like, uh, what are they balls. called? What are the big, in- there's, like, a name for them. A BOSU ball? No, no BOSU's the port. Anyway, big inflatable ball. And he was, like, he was in sit-up position, but he just had his dog laying on his chest. And one of the other guys who I see at the gym pretty often just looked at, made eye contact with him. And I was on one of the benches next, nearby. He looked at me and goes, you don't see that every day. And just kept going. <laughs> I've never said a word before or after to that I man. I think you guys have the perfect friendship. He just looked and said, <laughs> You don't see that every day. <laughs> it kept going on with his day. And I was like, nope, you don't. I love my friends here at the gym. Little did we know we would see him way more often after yeah, that. No, so now we there. do see him on a nearly daily basis. Uh, Fred said, this is why I have no conversations with na- naked people rule. Yeah. And Martha said, this is why I just don't talk to people. No, Martha, this is why you need to talk to people because they're outrageous. I have been doing a much better job of engaging with people in public. Do you think you're the person at the gym that everyone's like, oh, that guy's going to talk to no, me? No, because I, I will never go out of my way. And this is going to sound like elitist at first, and I'm going to explain. I will never go out of my way to engage in a conversation with that's someone at the weird. gym. But that's not because I think everyone needs to like come to me. I just try not to. It's not why you're there. Yeah, and, right. I, and I also make it a, a point to not interrupt other people's workouts. Right, I will do whatever I can. Yeah. To just stay in my own zone. But if you engage with me. Quick interactions. Yes. But I'm I'm much better now at just like, maybe I'm maybe the masks, like I'm smiling at people or whatever. Like if they, you can read people's faces better. So maybe that's why I feel like mm. since the masks have left, I've engaged oh, yeah. with more people. Mm, okay, that makes sense. Um, but I feel like I've had way more conversations in the gym recently and they're all great. And I, I'm actually enjoying talking to strangers. This, that, that sounds weird. Um, Mainly because it gives us things to talk about, and I think just talk, I love talking to strangers. Like, is I like it because there's bar. almost no repercussion? Yeah, yeah. it's like I'm going to leave, and I'm never going to have to worry about this again. Yeah, it's very Fight Club. <laughs> it's a single serve friend. Yeah. Monday yeah. Friday we talked about it this week. Yeah, interacting with a positive interaction with a stranger, whether I engage it or you are the stranger, can literally change your mood for the entire day, mm-hmm. right? It's something like crazy. Just yeah. do it with one stranger more than it is with someone in your own life. And I, it actually triggers the same brain response, the same chemical response, a, a positive reaction with a stranger that a positive reaction with your loved ones triggers. See, oh, that crazy. makes me so happy you said, because with no scientific knowledge yeah. or backing, I was going to say, I value a compliment from a stranger yeah. more than I do from a friend and it has not, yeah. it's just kind of nice that that person who doesn't care if you're happy or not objectively yep. goes out of their way to say something lovely. And, and there is scientific research that shows that those interactions in your brain, at least, obviously we know emotionally they're a little mm-hmm. different, but in your brain, same exact thing. Sam, so you, you should wear, a, you, you look great shirt more often. I really should. So having a conversation with a complete stranger at a bar for five minutes and then never seeing that person again is the same as having an in-depth conversation with your significant other yeah. for the same amount of time in I your brain. That. Same thing. I love that. Yeah. Wow. So my fiance is not as important to me as I thought. Exactly. You don't even need him. Wow. Oh, really? Learning yeah. so much. I'm going to go call Bill. Hold on. <laughs> um, and I'm going to go back to back with this because I'm going to explain the next thing that we're going to talk about. And this is where some people will say I fell short in this interaction. And some people will be like, no, you did the right thing. And I am okay with either opinion because I feel both. Mm-hmm. Okay. So on Friday, now the sauna thing was Saturday. On Friday, I was leaving the gym. And the way I leave is I walk down the stairs. I'm lazy and I take the elevator on the way up, but I make myself feel better by taking the stairs on the way out. You should walk up. I should. Um, So I walk out. And if you're familiar with this gym, Carla Marie is, when you walk out on the second floor where the main parking lot is, there's also the elevator bank right next to the stairs. So oftentimes there's people waiting for the elevator. But it's maybe, what, 12 feet? from the stairwell to the yeah, door yeah. outside, right? So it's not a, it's not like a huge space. I'm walking through. I still have my headphones on. I'm in the process of taking them off. And there's 
um, a very generic, like, middle-aged white woman standing by the elevator, waiting mm-hmm. for it. And then there's two slightly younger, um, one man, one woman, Asian people also in that space. Mm-hmm. And I hear a little bit of talking as I'm taking off my headphones. And then the only thing I hear when I take them off is, are you being racist? <gasps> and then the other person says, I think she is. Oh, boy. And then the woman at the elevator says, you know what? It's like, I can't say anything anymore. Everyone gets fucking mad at me. Is there her quote? And you and didn't I'm, come in with the comment. Just, well, no, I I was just in there. I was literally, right. I had no idea what the original comment was, the original situation. And I'm already at the door once my brain processes all the things that I hear. But here's the very quick decision I made. The quick decision I made was, this doesn't seem like it was going to turn into anything physical. No. And I'm not involved. No. And I just kept going. And then I thought to myself. Oh, I don't know I what left, I would have done. As I left, I was like, should I have stayed? I don't know. And I was like, I'm not going to go back in now. Right? Because once I left the go situation, back going back in is even no. weirder. I think the only thing you could have done has been like. What the fuck is going on? Like, but, just be like, what are you doing? Like, to bo- all of them? I'm a big fan with the face. It. You say that with your face. Yeah, like, like when that happens on the yeah, subway yeah, yeah. and I don't know what's up, but someone's like, are you being racist? My immediate response is... Well, this was the first time I'd ever actually heard someone accuse another person, and I was completely out of the conversation. Yeah. And the problem was what I didn't happened? hear the beginning of the conversation. So I'm just like, well, I don't know. Maybe it was, maybe it wasn't. I don't know. And I didn't well, want to. Well, the fact I, that she said, I can't say anything to anyone anymore she, means yeah. she probably says a lot of things that make people say that to her. But it was kind of wild. And I just thought to myself, this isn't my battle. I don't think anyone's actually in danger. I wonder if everyone at every LA fitness in the country has these stories. And the good thing. I just go a lot. So I, I, I absorb a whole lot of stuff. Beyond that is even without you, it sounds like if that was a full-blown racist comment, there were advocates for that person to help. Well, there were, there were, there was, it looked oh. like there were a couple, like a, like an Asian, like a man and a woman right. together, both Asian. So they were the one who says, are you, are you being the racist? The guy said it at first. He was talking to the girl. He said, I think he said something like, is she being racist? And then the girl said, yes, yeah, she is. Oh, okay. I thought there was like another person no, no, who no. was also like, yeah, they were. No. Gotcha. Okay. And then I also thought as I was, cause I, the door closed behind me as I got into the parking garage area. I was like, do I go back in? I don't know what they're talking about. I don't have any of the details. And then I thought, there's also a chance that me being there escalates the whole situation. Yeah, no, for sure. It's potential. Right? It's like you have that one friend who like is a little yappy at closing time at the gym. And then the second someone tries to hold him back, that's when they lose it because mm-hmm. now someone's there. Mm-hmm. So I was like, I don't know what to do. And I just walked away. Okay. And I'm not, it's not like my proudest moment, but I also don't know what I would have done if I was in no. there. You did like a danger scan and yeah. you, you're acknowledging the possibility it could have made it worse. I don't know. I feel like congratulations. You're in a, there is no right answer and you can't win. I, I, that's <laughs> kind of situation. Like, I don't know if there's a way to go about this properly. Right. I don't know what that is. I'm not trained in this. Especially because you weren't there for the initial. Now, here's the difference. If they were arguing when you go, uh, entered in. Yes. If I knew some more information or if I thought someone was in danger and at, at, at any point I would have jumped in or they were two on one. They were two on one. Um, not great for the, the white lady that was in there. If anything went down, I guess, but if someone had said anything to me to try to bring me in, I would have stopped. And right. been like, all right, you, you sucked me in. I'm a vampire. You invited me in this. <laughs> yes. So I don't know what I would have done. I don't know, man. Let's see what else we have here. What's uh what's happening in the chat? Uh, Tamara said, "I don't think you were wrong, but you would I would have tried to make eye contact with the people that felt like they were being attacked as like a are you okay eye contact." Well, and th- I did scan, but they were like locked in to one another. Like, no, I don't even know if they saw me walk through. Honestly, that's crazy. So they were waiting for the elevator. They weren't going through the door you were Correct. going through. Well, the the one woman is definitely waiting for the elevator. If they all had to take the elevator up together, it would have been a real yeah, awkward that's... ride, probably. Okay. <laughs> That's where I would have taken the stairs off. Because maybe, because that happens a lot where we're in shock and then we need to continue on because our brain is processing the last beat we just went through. Maybe, like, if you're ever unsure, you just sit in the stairwell for a second. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't so, know. So Martha said, I don't think you did anything wrong. What would you have done? Just stood there? It's, and that's the problem. Like, I part of me, and I think a lot of people have this, like, hero complex where it's like, I always want to be the one to help or save the day yeah. or something. 
So when I was, I literally was on the other side of the door, kind of close to the, the car. And I was like, do I go back in? What do I do? Like, what way can I go back in there and positively impact this situation? And I couldn't come up with one because I don't know what I would have yeah, done. Yeah, could have gambled. They could have just went their separate ways after that literal yeah. moment and just not done anything. But you going back and being like, what happened could have just triggered everything. Yeah. And again, I, I, I bring up, I tried to paint a picture of the space because it was a very small space and I was through it very quickly. So all of this happened within like three seconds, three seconds. Yeah. yeah. So for my brain to comprehend everything, while I, I didn't realize, you know, when you hear something, it takes you a couple seconds. Oh my God. All the time. Until I was halfway through the door, I didn't realize what I had just heard two seconds right. before. Because it's also not something you expect to hear. Correct. Totally. So I didn't really know what to do. Yeah. And then people hear it on the outside and it's like, I forget the name of it, but it's like, there's a name for it when you're watching a movie and you're like, I wouldn't have gone through that door. Or of course that yeah. was going to yeah. turn into, yeah. I think like the audience something. So of course someone hearing it's going to be like, well. And that's, and that's course. why I said earlier, like, I don't, if you think I did the right thing or the wrong thing, I agree. <laughs> people just take out that reaction processing time as humans yes. when they're hearing it, another human went yes. through yes. it. Yes. And like I, like I've tried to say, this isn't, I don't need some, someone to tell me I did the right thing or the wrong thing. Cause I agree with both because I actually think both of myself. Yeah. You Sounds can't. like a torturous place. Yeah. yeah Amanda's so right. It's like Monday morning quarterback. Yeah. I mm. can like, and I think about this all the time where I'm like, well, I would have done this. Yeah. Okay. Well, let's drop you into that real life situation and see what you would have mm -hmm. done. They tried to get like Captain Sully on that in the beginning when he yeah. was going down. They're like, hey, you had enough time. And then the, he objected. He's like, can we move a minute for like human thought? Yeah. The plane yeah. is going when to duck. At yeah, the, at the, uh, the trial, simulator. they do the flight right. simulator, and you're like, "No, wait!" But what about? And they change it, and they fail every time. Right, because then they're like, "Oh, you did make the right call as a human being and not a computer." Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's see. How was their body language? So their body language was, from what I again yeah, in three seconds gathered, that? tense, but not like. And this is where, yeah, there no one had fisticuffs. No one was ready to like rage. Looking at the three people, I don't think any of them wanted to get into a fight at all um although i would have been the largest person in that space so i don't th i think I so you're on an advantage like, right see you later guys <laughs> now i'm although it's also and two of the three participants were women and it's like i'm not getting involved in this yeah. Oh yeah, that's a slippery slope though because there it's it's totally possible a guy's going to be in a situation where two women are you know I don't and know I don't want to do be there. And they're both like I'm of course you, you don't want to be there but the point is you are now what this is the Unless best reaction like, to run listen if there's like a pool of Jello and then there, that's different <laughs> I didn't even I was like <laughs> throw you in a pool of cottage cheese and salsa as punishment okay. well report back like if you see the I think if you see the couple at the gym ask them here's the craziest part. Again, three people, much like the sauna, where I didn't recognize anyone from before. Three people I'd never seen before. I think it's fair you might never see them again after that. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gotta go to a different gym. Yeah. What do you got highlighted there, Carla Marie? Uh, Sarah said, guys, my birthday's Saturday, but I'll be on a cruise the rest of the week. Can I please get the birthday song? I feel like a bot, but you guys keep missing me asking. <laughs> oh, we sure can. Do you know the birthday song? Oh, boy. Well, I can't even hear it because I don't have headphones on. So you guys are going to have to dance along. I, don't hear I dance? Well, you will. There's a special dance. <laughs> You gotta do this. Delightful. Right? And then wait. Cha cha cha. And then Anthony does. No, you do this. <laughs> this part. There you go. That's the shoulder shimmy. That's definitely not it. I'm yeah. watching you. I'm here for support. I'm not trying to copy it. Happy birthday, Sarah. So who's listening to the Four Seasons while she was. <laughs> Is that an option? <laughs> Jersey Boys. We can play some Jersey Boys. Happy early birthday, Sarah. You're going to say Sam. I was like, wow, that's real early. Super early birthday, Sam. I appreciate it. Damn. All right. <laughs> yeah, so wild two days at LA Fitness in Ballard, <laughs> to say the least. Maybe we should all go today. I feel like you should take this GoPro and just attach it to your chest during the day. Yeah. Get I some started, footage of stuff. And I actually started thinking to myself, like, do I, do Sorry. I naturally witness weird things at the gym? A. Do I go out of my way? To notice so weird I've, things I've, at the gym. B. I do think B, there's a bit of B of you. We are all very hyper aware of what's happening around us because of the job that we do. Yeah. And we're just so in tune of like, oh, why are they talking about that? Is that something I can talk about? Or would I do that? Like, and we don't realize we're actually having that thought process. And I thought C was maybe 
do I just spend so much time at that gym where I'm bound to see weird and shit? Yes, That's I think it's a mix true. of all of the above. Right, like if you're there for over an hour and a half a day, the chances of you seeing something weird that day grow exponentially. No, but there is something where, I would say it's on par with maybe something like a comedian, where when you do what we do, there's a switch that happens at one point in your life after you start in radio, where everything you see do and say you overthink yeah. as a topic not overthink as what do I do what do I do overthink as how can I make this a topic and it took me a while in the beginning of working at Elvis's show and I remember just taking the subway being like I just got five topics because I overthought everything that I witnessed it's good and bad mm -hmm. but it's truly the same way comedians interact where they're like they take one tiny thing and they blow it yeah. out of proportion or Man. overthink it and you can't undo that. I would just like to say the two things I brought up today were not blown out of proportion. Those were exactly no, no, as they no. were. We're not comedians. We're just people. Yeah. I've, I've hit that point where yeah. I have spent time intentionally undoing that. And oh. I'd like to say I'm successfully on the other end of that. But there was a period of time where that's where all I was living and I was exhausted yep. and I didn't feel very present it's, with people. So I, I kind of forcefully made myself swing the other way again. Like, I think you actually, I think part of it, I'm more present because I'm like, I'm in the moment trying to like take in all the different senses and all the different, but like, then I'm more in my head than yeah. I am with my That's people. Fair. Like I don't have too many photos with Carla Marie or like, like when I was going through my bridesmaid oh. stuff and picking my best friends, like pictures or whatever, I had so few with my best friends. And oh, I actually yeah. took that as a victory because mm -hmm. I was like, this no, is where true. I live with work yeah. Yeah. and not when my people are with me. No, that's so small true. Sam is. She's a normal <laughs> there she average is. size. It looks like you just ran from 30 feet away. I'm so comfortable. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, there she is. <laughs> like when a Looney Tune runs up to the screen. <laughs> Are you going to be with us tomorrow? Yeah, bitch. Sweet. That's it. A good time. Got a full trip here. Let's see. Jeffra said, love Sam. Uh, let's see. Tacoma Swifty. Yes, my friends and I need updated photos. Uh, I always forget. Yeah, I think yeah. But that's always the, the sign of a good night, too. It's like, oh, you didn't post anything on social media. You didn't no. take a picture. It's like, oh, because I was having a great time. Yeah, or unless I'm really drunk, then the phone comes out. I feel like, because then I'm like, everything's funny. Got a little bit like more alcohol we were, over there. Yeah. Well, yeah, that's right. Two right shots. Now. A shot and a half over there. It wasn't even a half. And some cottage cheese. Ugh. Things got wild. <clears throat> I just want everyone to know. It's done. Ugh, it's the waft. The waft. I don't, don't want like it. That. Don't put that under my face right now. It's Again, wasn't gone. that bad happening? Just don't want to watch it's it. It's oddly refreshing. I don't. Okay. You can, you can say it. It's okay. I, I don't. It was oddly. Maybe. Maybe. Also, is that Bianca said, uh, love Bam with Sam and Bill? Oh, yeah. I'm share a link in there. Bam, our wedding so podcast. So you can check out Sam's podcast. Bam Fam says Martha. Okay. William, a.k.a. Billy Boy, my fiance, decided to give everyone an army fan name, and I, like I refuse. Bam Fam. Bam Fam. Bam I love great. Bam the, Fam. I'm so... I, I'm, not, I'm not a fan of, of... The Bam Fam? You're not a fan uh, of Bam Fam? Hold on. Of names for like just say i'm a fan no, of blank no, sam that's how you I, that's how you build community i'm a curmudgeon i guess i don't know well you know what sam it's out of your control it i it feels like it might be the band although band martha i love and now. appreciate you <laughs> you're just so cheesy i'm also putting another the link again to the cocktail mm. come those later not cocktail shooter who am i kidding I feel like we need to have a drunk lunch because we got real tired and boring. No, we toward tried the end of the night last night. We attempted to have a drunk lunch, then we all took a nap. <laughs> right, that's what I'm saying. Like we can't let that happen again. We've well, got. No, to we just don't have time for that today. Keep yeah. going. We got things to record. We got things to do. Oh, you guys are going to record an episode with me. You're going to do oh, we not this week's because that's already locked and loaded, but the next week's of Bam Wedding Podcast. Yep. So what are we supposed to like bring to the wedding podcast? What do we do? I got to think about that. First, I have to find out if William is going to be a part of it or not because it's going to be late his time. True. So he might not be. Uh, yeah. Like what are we? Get? We aren't getting married. We aren't. Oh, I'm in the wedding. Contrary to what Carla Marie thought <laughs> yesterday. There's just so many angles. You guys can just continually judge us for stuff, and I kind of love that. Ooh, can I tell you things I like and dislike about weddings? We Please. Can, we can settle debates, too. Like, are William and you debating? Oh, absolutely. I could just start venting to you guys like it's therapy, and then so you can I'm tell me where day. I'm wrong. This isn't fair to William. <laughs> 
he gets most of the most of the fans side with him, so I don't care that it's not fair to William. Most It'll be Bam fine. Fam? Bam fan. It I is- would rather you say Bam fan than fans. Okay, but that's just an abbreviate. Like the word fan is better than fan. Bam fam. Right. That's better than fan. Yes. yes. Okay. Sure. Whatever you guys. Would you Justin Bieber? No, yeah, that a hundred percent makes me Justin Bieber. All right. Bring back my pixie cut. We are going to get out of Justice here. Justice we'll Beaver. Be, we'll be back tomorrow morning. I'm going to put the uh, stream video ending up there. Look at look how fancy that is. That is so cute. It says the stream is over. can't see us anymore. Now it's a podcast. That's all it took. Well, it's still a video. No, nope, can't see us. Anyway, thank you very much for hanging out with us. Thank you for getting us through 10 days in a row of the hype train. We will be back tomorrow.